Hi Virgo, I hope you're all doing well. In today's reading, we'll be looking at whoever you're thinking about for January. We have a little bit of Leo, Aries, and Scorpio. It doesn't have to be your person's sign, it is energy we are looking at. The situation between the both of you, we have Page of Cups, Upright Eight of Cups in reverse. So there's mutual attraction, admiration here, Virgo, which I didn't get for a lot of the signs. So yeah, this person definitely does have feelings for you. You have feelings for them. You care about each other and you're both having a hard time releasing each other completely is what is going on right now. Or latter half of Feb. How this person is viewing you, I think I will need some clarity on this. They're seeing you as the Queen of Wands, Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Uh, let's see. Queen of Wands in reverse can be a very insecure, unstable energy. Why is this person viewing Virgo as the Queen of Wands? Four of Cups. That you may be ignoring them. You're moody when it comes to the situation is how they're seeing you. Yeah, they're seeing you as someone who's ignoring them, the situation, and getting out of your head that you may not be thinking about them as much as you once were is how they're perceiving you. But if there's no contact, it's almost they're assuming things about you. And others of you, they could be seeing you getting out of another relationship here as well. But there's a lack of stability here when it comes to this situation, despite the feelings. How they're feeling about you or will be feeling about you. We have Six of Pentacles, Queen of Cups. This person has a lot of love for you. They really do care about you. And it's true love here is what I'm seeing. This person was still wanting to give to this. Some of you, the blockage was this person's family, children, or a prior commitment, which is why we have this figure giving to two, right? But yeah, they're wanting to be generous with you. I want clarity on their feelings here as well. Why is Six of Pentacles here? Why is Six of Pentacles here for how this person will be feeling about Virgo? Four of Swords in Reverse, Ace of Pentacles. They want to come back around to you. They want a new beginning. They're wanting to see growth here. But what is throwing me off is this person's intentions. We have King of Swords in Reverse, Four of Wands Upright. They seem to be scattered when it comes to their attention. Yes, they want reconciliation. They want a new beginning. But there's a lot of fears here. They can be very anxious and they can be an overthinker, especially if you're dealing with an air sign. But their intentions are not to be as vulnerable. So how they're feeling and what they're intending on doing is not aligned, right? They're not expressing anything to you. Some of you, they're not communicating at all. And that's not helping the situation. Why is King of Swords in reverse here? Four of Pentacles, yeah, they're very guarded and they're holding back. Some of you, if you're in a commitment with this person, you may feel that they're very controlling or possessive when it comes to you. That's for very few of you. Why is Four of Wands here for this person's intentions towards Virgo here? Magician. This person is trying to manifest stability. Is what is coming through. Why is Four of Wands here? Yeah, High Priestess, King of Cups, Pisces, Energy. This person's paranoid, but they haven't quite left the situation. They're wanting to return and reconcile. I don't see them doing that because they have a lot of fears. Some of you, there can be a fear of rejection. And others of you, there can be guilt, regret, especially if they had you involved in a bit of a messy situation here in the past. For what action they're taking, we have Star, Page of Pentacles in Reverse. Star is clarified by the Nine of Swords. This person thinks about you a lot, especially before they go to sleep, right? I'm definitely getting an overthinker and this person's extremely stressed out 
when they think about you. So I see them spending a lot of time in their mind, their head, right? Rather than taking action. So I don't see them bringing any offer towards you, although they wanted to. This person's fears are sabotaging this connection is what I'm seeing. Why is the star here? Let's get one more for their actions towards you, Virgo. There may be distance between the both of you. Physical. Yeah, two of pentacles, ten of wands. Some of you, this person's very busy. They have a lot going on with family or just responsibilities in general. Children, I'm not sure. So they're not able to give you their undivided attention, but they do keep a close eye on you. They may ask about you. They're trying to gather information. And some of you are very busy. I see that in your outcome and they want to know what you've been doing. So they may watch you online when they have time, when they're off of work. That's coming through for some of you. Few of you may have worked with this person and one of you may have left the job. That is coming through as well. Why is Page of Pentacles in reverse here? They feel like they won't be successful if they were to come towards you, but they're wanting to. What is the issue here? I'm confused. Some of you, it's a, something to do with their stability that is proving to be a blockage, and others of you, it's this person's fears. How you're feeling? We have Ace of Swords in reverse, Ten of Cups. Strength and Six of Cups. You're restraining yourself, Virgo, from reaching out to this person. And they were also holding back. So nothing's happening here as a result of you both not communicating. I think a lot of you want to. You fantasize about reconciliation coming together with this person. But you're really takes a lot of willpower for you to restrain yourself. But there's fantasy, daydreaming, about a happily ever after. There's fond memories here, and you do have emotions for this person. It's mutual, is what I'm seeing. In your outcome, Virgo, we have nine of pentacles, eight of pentacles. So I see you coming back down to earth here, um, being very stable, grounded, and some of you are doing extremely well when it comes to your finances. Um, if you're students, yeah, studies are going well, right? I don't see you have much to complain about here in your outcome. You're sitting pretty. Um, you're very stable. Some of you may be wanting to travel. I actually have that for your advice here as well. So you may be planning a vacation here. Because I do see her with the wine, the chocolate, her book. It's a very relaxed energy. So I think you're in a good space. I don't think I need clarity. I'm definitely seeing you being very hardworking here and dedicated to some goal or just personal development here, right? I like this switch though, because I've seen a lot of fantasy illusions. And then in your outcome, I see you coming back to reality here and focused on the day-to-day -day here. It's beautiful. It's a peaceful energy. This person's outcome, we have seven of wands, the fool. So they're not fighting for the situation because they're afraid to take a risk is what is coming through in their energy. The only reason they hold back from you is because of their fears, right? Nine of swords, fool, there's a risk here. I'm not ready to venture out of my comfort zone for some of you, right? Why is seven of wands in reverse here for this person's outcome? It's a difficult situation for them because they're restless. They don't want to be apart from you, but they're also having a hard time trusting the situation. Although they want to return to you, I see them holding back communication and the outcome. Why is fool in reverse? See you being single, independent, and happy. And this person is... Yeah, there's a fear of the unknown is what I'm getting. Why is the fool here in reverse? One more for this energy. Oops. Ten of Swords, Eight of Wands, blockages in communication because of drama, perhaps incompatibility, um, some bickering between the both of you, or it can be interference from others, specifically something to do with the home situation, Four of Wands. 
So I see blockages here moving forward, Virgo. Uh, let's get you this Oracle deck, actually. It's not a lack of love or attraction. I don't see that here. We have forever changed. A new self, lasting changes, a love that transforms. Yeah, I think you're growing. You're learning a lot about yourself and how strong you are, your strengths, your weaknesses. You're becoming stronger as a person. This relationship connection may have been very transforming for you and for this person. We have spell work, love potion, casting love spells, manipulating outcome, attracting love interest. Well, she seems to be making a potion here as well. I'm not sure. I'll leave that to your interpretation. We also have work, focused on work, working hard and long hours, love at work. Yeah, I mentioned something about one of you leaving a job but others of you, definitely, it can be a workplace of romance here coming through. Which may be why this person's stressed out as well. They may be a boss, they're trying to keep things professional with the King of Swords. And they don't want to jeopardize their stability, their position. Very few of you, that is also coming through. Let's get one more for you, Virgo. Not budging, power struggles, is it? Yeah, you both weren't communicating, so I see that. We have refusing to change, stubborn, inflexible, both standing your ground. Yeah, you both want what you want, and perhaps none of you is budging. So it's King of Swords in reverse and Ace of Swords in reverse. You were holding back communication, and they are as well. Your advice, we have travel. Take a vacation from your love life. Travel, go shopping, have a girl's night out. Leave your worries behind and choose to do what makes you happy. Girls night out, boys night out. They want you to focus on yourself, some of you. If it's safe to travel, do so. Perhaps plan a vacation. Take a break from work if you've been working too hard. And we have hidden blessings. Things are not always what they seem. You'll soon realize that, that it all worked out for your highest good. So some of you may not see the hidden blessings right now, but with time, they, they're saying that you will, right? So everything that is happening is for your highest good. So you can find peace in that, that the divine has a plan for you and your love life and they won't lead you down the wrong path is what I'm seeing with this card. They may even be trying to give you, showing you symbols, synchronicities, telling you that they are here with you. They're supporting you. Let's get one more. Yeah, some of you, the issue was three is a crowd. It's up to you if you want to make yourself an option, but why would you want to wait around for a man, woman to make a choice to dictate your direction? You're not. I don't see you waiting. I was seeing a little bit of fantasy daydreaming but you're coming out of that in the outcome and your energy is quite stable in terms of the material realm but also your emotions so i don't see you being very bothered and you are putting your needs you know you are prioritizing yourself here in this situation so i think it's beautiful but some of you yeah that is a reminder don't right don't give your power away to this individual Pick a direction and move forward, right? And three of so three is a crowd can be that four of wands, that family situation I was getting. But yes, Virgo, hopefully this gave you the clarity you were seeking. Do take care of yourself and I will see you next week. Bye.